Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your first steps in Industrial Craft 2. The first thing you're going to want to do is find yourself a rubber tree. They can be found in the forest, and much more commonly in the swamp biome. They'll have that weird little dealy bopper sticking out at the top, three pieces of the leaves, and they're a little bit more drab looking than the rest of the trees. What you're looking for is a spot of sticky resin. Now, you're going to want to take these out with a tree tap, looking like so, just five pieces of wooden planks and a crafting table. Uh, right click, and there you go, pieces of sticky resin. Common practice with the, with the rubber tree is to knock away the leaves up here on the sides in order to allow the other leaves to decay naturally. It seems to give you a better drop rate for the sapling. And once you've got these trees planted near your base, knock out all of the ones that don't have the ha resin on them. Leave the ones with the resin because they will eventually respawn and you can collect more. Next thing, we're going to need to make some rubber with it. So stick some sticky resin in your furnace. Try to be sp sparing with this because once you've got an extractor, you can do this better. Um, but just stick it in the furnace and get yourself some rubber. Next, we're also going to need some refined iron. Regular iron ingots in the furnace gets you refined iron. We've got tin ore, which looks like this. You're going to refine up some of that. And copper ore, looks like so. You're also going to need to refine up some of that and make some ingots with it. Now, remember that the copper ore can be found relatively near the surface, and the tin ore is found kind of midway down and then closer to the bottom. You're also going to need a little bit of redstone before you can get anything started, so bear that in mind. The first thing you're going to need to make is a generator. Now, one thing to note about the generator is it's not perfect. Yes, it has a small internal storage. Yes, you can hook it directly up to your mace readers just by sticking it next to them. Or you can hook it up using some cables. However, if there is any room at all, even one point a worth of energy in here available, it will burn a piece of whatever's in here and waste the rest of it if there's nowhere for it to go. So be careful. You can waste a lot of fuel that way especially since it can keep up easily with an extractor and a macerator, you're going to you'll be just don't do it. Now, your next thing you're going to need is some ins uninsulated copper wiring. Three pieces of copper gets you the uninsulated copper wiring, and then add a piece of rubber to each one. You can do this individually. You're only going to need one for now. And then a machine block, which requires eight pieces of refined iron in the same pattern as you find a furnace. Next, you're going to need a rechargeable battery, which is four pieces of tin, two pieces of redstone, and there's that copper cable. Combine them all together with the RE battery, the machine block, and the furnace gets you a generator. Next, you're going to need a macerator. Now, the macerator is an awesome piece of technology. You put yourself a piece of ore in the top, and you get two dust in the bottom, both of which can be turned into an ingot, essentially doubling your productivity when you are underground. Now, this works with all ores from Vanilla, Industrial Craft 2, and from Red Power, uh, Build Craft, and uh, a few other mods, like Silver Ore, for instance. Will It does work. It'll get you the dust. You're going to need an electronic circuit for this, which is six, piece six copper cables, two pieces of redstone, and a refined iron. Then, combined with three pieces of flint, two pieces of cobblestone, a machine block, and an electronic circuit, gets you a macerator. One thing to note, the macerator will also process cobblestone into sand and gravel into flint. So if you're having trouble finding flint, just stick some gravel into a macerator, and there you go. It doesn't really help you out right off the bat, but it can be useful later on. Next, we're going to need the extractor. Now, the extractor is great because you can stick rubber wood, both from the Industrial Craft 2 trees and from LRAM's Red Power 2 trees, and you will get a single piece of rubber out of each one. However, a single piece of sticky resin in the extractor gets you three pieces of rubber. To create it, you need four tree taps, completely unused, it won't take damaged ones, an electronic circuit, and a machine block arranged like so, get you an extractor. And then we're going to need a battery box. Remember how I told you about that weird problem with the generator? Well, that can be fixed with a battery box because it can store 40,000 EU. The generator, I think its storage is something like 8,000. It's really not all that great. But it'll store the power and can transmit it at any time. Its construction is very easy. Uh, five wooden planks, three rechargeable batteries, and one copper cable gets you a bat box. There we go. Now, in order to put these down, you must remember, until you've gotten yourself some bronze, which is going to require a macerator, you cannot pick these back up. So be sure about their placement before you put them down. I like to start with the battery box, because this is the one that's very, very de de dependent upon its direction. So, if I'm going to be facing here, I'm going to make sure I've got a really good angle and put it down, and there we go. Now you'll notice how this one side has the single little copper dot on it. That is the output. Any of the other five sides, including the one on the bottom, are input sides. So I'm just going to stick the generator right here. Then we'll add a couple of copper cables to the output slot. 
and we can stick our macer or sorry our extractor on top I'll put the macerator down here on the bottom and now if we put a little bit of power into the generator we'll get a nice little humming noise tells you it's working and it starts to generate power and you'll notice how your machines begin to fill up and as soon as they're both full the bat box will then begin to charge as well now once the bat box reaches its full charge your generator will also begin to fu fill up so I usually recommend only putting in a few pieces at a time I usually find eight from a completely empty level is just about right it won't fill it up completely but it'll get you pretty close um, and there you go those are your first steps in industrial craft too I highly recommend you craft another macerator or two and come back for episode two where we will go over the various furnaces the compressor and the recycler